Okay, last video for the week three, day two homework. This is the fourth set where we've got some brackets and we have to do the distributing that you guys learned at the end of last week. So on the left-hand side here, we're going to distribute the bracket here. We're multiplying everything inside the bracket by the two. We can draw those rainbows. Then we get an equation that we've known how to deal with before and we're just gonna solve it like normal. So I'm going to multiply the two in. So two times three T. Remember the steps of multiplying in here. We think about the signs, we think about the numbers, then we keep the variables the same. So both two and three are positive. Those are nice easy numbers. We know that that's gonna give us a positive. Two times three is six and it has a T with it. Then we're going to distribute that two into the five. So the second piece of my rainbow. Positive two, positive five. Thinking about the signs, that'll give me a positive number. Number parts, two times five is 10. And there's no variables. So there's no variables in my answer. I'm going to keep it as equals 34. Now this one looks like one of the easier questions you guys did yesterday. Um, this is 6t plus 10 equals 34. Now we're going to solve that like normal. Undo the addition and subtraction. So now I could put my dotted line down. Opposite operations here, minus 10 on both sides. And we get 6t equals 24. And then the opposite of this 6 times t is dividing by 6. So we're undoing that multiplication. And we get t equals 4, 24 divided by 6. So it's just the one extra step of distributing first. So with number 12, 4 times 5x plus 2 in brackets equals negative 32. I'm distributing in this 4. So 4 times 5x, again, think about your signs, first step. So my signs, the 4 is positive, the 5 is positive. So I get a positive answer. Then you think about the numbers. 4 times 5 is 20. Then you think about the variables. You've got an x there. And the next distributing, multiplying 4 times 2. Positive, positive gives me a positive. Number parts, 4 times 2 is 8. And there's no variables. So that's equal to negative 32. Now I'm just solving a regular equation. Undo the adding or subtracting. I have plus 8, so I subtract 8 on both sides. And I get 20x equals negative 32 minus 8 more is negative 40. Then I undo the multiplication. So I've got 20 times x. I divide by 20 on both sides. x equals negative 2. Okay, that's the answer there. Number 13. Again, we're going to distribute first. So we're going to look at 5 times 2f, positive 5, positive 2. My answer will be positive. Number parts, 5 times 2 is 10. And variable parts, I have an f. The next multiplication, the next piece of this rainbow, look at your signs, positive and a negative. That one's different. It's going to make a negative. Number parts, 5 times 3 is 15. And variables, there aren't any, so you're done. So equals 15. Now I need to undo adding or subtracting. I have a minus 15. The opposite of that minus 15 is plus 15 on both sides. Here I have 10f equals, so the minus 15 and plus 15 disappear because you undid those. 15 plus 15 is 30. And the last step is to undo the multiplication with division. So I'm dividing by 10 on both sides and I get F equals three. Last one, question number 14. This one's a little bit different because I have a negative three out front. That's the first one we've seen with a negative sign here. So I'm going to multiply, distribute in, making that rainbow. My first multiplication, I'm looking at signs. I have negative and positive. I know one of each makes a negative answer. Looking at numbers, 3 and 4 multiply to 12. And looking at variables, I have an x. 
The next multiplication, I have negative three and negative 10. So my signs, I look negative and negative. That's going to make a positive. Three times 10 is 30, and there's no variables with those. Then I have equals six. So a couple more steps here. We're going to undo the adding or subtracting, just like we've been doing all along. I have a plus 30, so we'll subtract 30 from both sides. Then I've got negative 12x. Don't forget that negative, it stays with the 12. Six take away 30 is negative 24. So make sure you know how to do that. Check that integer sign, negative sign on your calculator. Undo the multiplication or division, negative 12 times x. I undo that multiplication by dividing by negative 12. Then x equals negative 24 divided by negative 12 gives you positive two. There you go. So you can double check your answers. These The picture of these will also be posted on the Solutions Google Doc for this week.